Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at add-on linker and we're going to talk about everything you need to know coming up on this episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone. Before we get started in today's video, I first would like to go over what we're going to be covering. We're going to treat this as a first time user to add-on linker, so we will go over the download installation, and setup process for Microsoft Flight Simulator. After that, I will show you how to organize all of your add-ons and mods, set up a couple of presets, and show you how to use Add-on Linker as a batch application to start in multiple other programs. If you have any questions along the way, post them down below in the comments section, and I'll get right back to you. All the links for today's video will also be down in the description. If the video helps you out today, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Now with any further ado, let's hop right into the video. So the first thing that you need to do is to click on the link in the description, and that'll bring you up on this page. Then we're gonna go down to the download now and tick on that button. We're gonna wait for the download counter to finish. Once that's done, we can hit the start download button. We're going to allow that to finish. We can go ahead and click on the link down below. That should open up your unzipping program. At this point, we just need to extract all the files here. So we're going to hit the extract all button. We can choose the file destination that we want to extract to. We'll just leave it as default for my downloads. Hit extract. Once that's done, it should open up the folder for us right here. I'm just going to backtrack a little bit to my downloads folder. We no longer need flightsim.to open anymore. So we can just go ahead and close that out as well. What I recommend to do is to take the Microsoft Flight Sim add-on linker folder and just pop it on your desktop. At this point, we're going to open the add-on linker application. To do that, we just need to double click on the file folder we just placed on the desktop. We're going to scroll down until we find the Microsoft Flight Sim add-on linker application. Now, one thing that may help you in the future, if you left click on the add-on linker application, and then right click on that, we can go down to create shortcut. Once a shortcut has been created, you can then take the shortcut, drag it and drop it right on your desktop. This way you no longer have to go through the file folder and scroll down every time you want to open add-on linker. So now that you've done that, we're going to double click on the add-on linker application and fire it up. If this is your first time opening the application, yours is probably not going to look like this. So there's a couple things that we need to do to get this program set up first before we can start adding any of our add-ons or mods. So what we need to do is to head up here to the wrench icon. This is going to open up the option screen for us to start setting up a couple things. The first thing that we need to do is to select the Microsoft Flight Sim Community folder. So if yours isn't automatically populated here, you're going to want to tick on the drop down and then find your Microsoft Flight Sim community folder. Once that's complete, then we want to go down and choose your type of Flight Sim version. Because I'm on the store version, I've selected store. If you're on Steam, you want to make sure you pick Steam. There's also an option for fast launch and regular. I'm really not too sure what that's all about. If you know, post it down below in the comments section. Below that, we have a couple different options down here on the bottom, and I'll show you what I use. There's a couple warnings, so I disable the Microsoft Flight Sim running warning. I also disable warnings for file operations, and I auto-close the add-on linker after Microsoft Flight Sim starts. You also want to tick on the administrative rights box here. Over on the right, there's only two boxes here that I've checked, and that is use system tray when I minimize the application and to make sure that there's no warnings when I launch the simulator. Once that's complete, now we need to set up the application to start organizing all of our add-ons and mods. So what you need to do now is to create another folder on your desktop. I've already done that and I've called that test add-on. This is where you're gonna store all of your add-ons and mods that you're gonna use for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is also where you're going to organize them. Now that that folder is created, we need to let add-on linker know where that folder is located. So at the very top here where it says my add-on folders, 
This is where you want to place that newly created folder on your desktop. To do that, we're going to head over to the right, click the Add button, and then we're going to scroll down until you find that folder and click OK. That file folder should now appear in the My Add-on folders. Now that that is done, we can now start organizing all of your add-ons and mods in that folder. We'll come back to this menu in a little bit because there's a couple other things that I want to go over with everybody. But for now, we can hit the OK button and go back to our main screen. At this point, you want to head over to your test add-on folder and open that up. And in here, I like to create several different types of folders. I'm going to right click, hit new. I'm going to call this scenery. Again, I'll hit new. I'll call this performance mods. I'll create another folder for new aircraft. I think you get the idea of what you want to do to be able to organize all of your different mods. Once you have finished creating all of your different folders to organize all of your mods, now you can start downloading and installing those mods in its respective folders. For instance, over here I have the Longitude FDE fix. I can put that in performance mods. TBM improvement mod, I can put that in performance mods. I've got a couple scenery mods, so we have the I Love VFR, we can pop that in there. Rex Global Textures, I can put that in there. So I think you get the idea. So if I click on either of these, we can now see all the different mods that are in that particular folder. This is a great way to organize everything. So now once all of your mods are installed into its respective folders, we can now close out of that folder. Once back on the add-on linker application, you're gonna see at the top here that it says add-ons refresh needed. We click on that, it'll bring up all the new folders that we've just created in that main folder on our desktop. You'll also see next to a couple of those folders, we have drop downs here, and this is where we started adding add ons and mods to those folders. If you tick on the drop down, it'll show us all the different add ons or mods that you have added into each of those folders. So once you get to this point, it's now pretty easy to add any of these add ons or mods directly into our community folder. All we need to do is to tick on the checkbox next to the add on or mod that you want to put in your community folder. And over here on the right, this will show us all the different add-ons or mods that are in our community folder at the moment. So now that you understand the basics behind add-on linker, I'm now going to show you how to set up a couple presets. Now, first off, what is a preset? Well, let's say that you like flying a particular route all the time or in a particular area or you like flying out of certain airports all the time that you may have downloaded scenery for, well, this is a way to make sure that all of these mods get activated when you select that particular preset. Set it and forget it. I know that's a mouthful, so let me explain by showing you here real quick. So let's say on this particular flight, I always like to use the longitude, and I'm always gonna be using the Rex Real Global Airport Textures, and let's say there's a couple airports that you're always flying on this particular route, so you're going to check those as well. Now what we can do is create a preset for that by ticking up here on this box at the top, and it will now create a preset for all of those options you've just selected. So I'll call this test one. Hit OK. At the bottom here in the preset menu, you will see that new name that we had just created, test one. Now let's say you're in a different part of the world that you may like to fly in quite frequently, and maybe you're using the TBM all the time in this part of the world. So we're gonna click on TBM, we're gonna use the We Love VFR add-on, and again, maybe there's a couple other scenery add-ons, as well as some airports that you always fly in this particular area. Once you have those selected, we can hit the Add Preset, and then we can call that whatever you want to, we're just gonna call it Test Number Two, and then hit OK. So now you may ask yourself, why would I want to set up presets? Well, if you have multiple different aircraft that you've downloaded and different sceneries, different airports, and you like flying all over the world, you may use different sceneries for different parts of the world that you're flying, as well as maybe different aircraft in that part of the world. So this way it makes it very easy for you to set everything up with one click so that everything is in your community folder and you don't have to go through each one of your add-ons or mods 
every time you want to do a flight. So now all I would have to do is go down to the preset, pick the preset that I want, click the OK button, and it will now apply all of those add-ons or mods for that particular preset. That's a pretty handy tool for add-on linker. So now that we have gone over how to set up a couple different presets, let's go back up to the options menu by clicking on the wrench icon. Next, we're gonna head over to the additional options. Here's where we can use add-on linker as somewhat of a batch application so that it can run multiple other programs when you start Microsoft Flight Simulator. So now you may ask yourself, why would I wanna use this? With all the applications that are out there that run side by side with Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is another great way to use add-on linker to start all of those applications as well when you fire up Microsoft Flight Simulator using the add-on linker application. So let's say you're using spad.next for your peripherals, you like using little nav maps to create your flight plans, or perhaps you like a certain career mod, maybe Sky Park, a pilot's life, whatever you want, you can add in here. So to do that, we're just gonna tick on the add button, and then we're gonna find the program that we wanna launch with Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once we're there, we can then find the application that we wanna start. So let's say it's Little Nav Map, so I'm gonna click on the Little Nav Map, click on the Little Nav Map application, Below that, we have a couple other options. You can either go through those, I just leave them as default and hit OK. Now you can see it just added that startup application for when we start up Microsoft Flight Simulator. To add another one, we can hit Add, click the three little dots. This time, I'm gonna select NeoFly and then hit Open. Again, we're gonna hit OK. And now as you can see, NeoFly has just been added to my auto launch applications. This is really cool because there's a lot of applications that we really want to run with Microsoft Flight Sim every single time that we fire it up. So now that you have set up add-on linker for every add-on and mod, and you've set up your presets and your auto start applications, you need to know how to start Microsoft Flight Simulator with add-on linker. To do that, we're going to head up to the top toolbar and just hit the play button, and this will launch Microsoft Flight Simulator as well as any of those auto start applications. All right, that's gonna wrap us up for today's video. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section and I will get right back to you. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.